What's up, mini truckers and YouTubers around the world? We've got a good one for you today. We've got a review of the Power Run battery jump box with the DC charging thing. So you can, I'll show you some cool stuff you can do it, but like we could run a fridge in our mini trucks or we could run, you know, an air compressor, stuff like that. So here we go. We've got the Power Run. It's going to tell us what's there. We've got to open this up. And then let's see what we've got in. Alright, so you're going to get some instructions. And admittedly, the instructions are not all that good. They didn't even tell you how to run the lights, but uh, they said they've got some better ones online. So this is how it comes. This is actually one of the better carrying cases I've seen because some of them, they just have you put the stuff here but like this. It actually fits into pretty well design on that regard. Okay, this comes with a, an AC adapter. So the only way to charge this is with this plug. Okay, here's the DC adapter. So we can plug this into the machine and then you can run that. And like I said, we're gonna use a fridge, but you could use an air compressor. And then they give you a USB-C cable. And then you get these, the jump. Wow, really pretty heavy. So pretty substantial clips and nice springs in there. The wires feel thick. This one actually has this boost function. So some of these, a lot of the jump packs won't work on a completely dead battery. So if you had like, you know, two volts, it's not gonna even pick up that it's on a battery. It thinks it's like on a piece of wood or something. So with this boost function, you can hold that boost function and feed, force feed the battery and then uh, get it to recognize some power. And then from there, the jump starter will work. And then here, it looks like they got it in a little baggie. So this is that, we've got a compass on there, so in case you get lost with your thing, and I can confirm that's accurate, as far as being north. This is kind of a cool thing, so again, if you hold it, and then you flash, they do the SOS, they do the strobe, but then this one, if you did a double click, you actually get a red light on this one, so you could use it, you know, if you're stranded on the side of the road, uh, do something like that Okay, this one has the inputs And like I said that this one the thing is kind of hard to get off and Then it was hard to close on this other one So there's you got the output you got an output you got your DC output and then the charging input this one has a little screen and then this is where you plug in the the uh, jumper cables. So one thing I didn't, well, I guess it went perfect there. So the first time I did it, it took me a while to get that on, but I was probably doing it wrong. Here's some specs. So 66 watt hours. My little fridge, I did the, when I had it, it was like 30 watt hours. So I could run that fridge for two hours. And if you pre-cool it on an AC, you know, at your house, it'll already be cold. So it'll probably give you like four hours of uh, coolness because then it kind of turns into a, a a freezer or a cooler rather. So I'm going to show you guys that function. We'll go do that and then we'll go do a jump start. Okay, we're here. So we plug this in and it looks like it's got some reverse and uh, correct settings. So we'll just put it on the correct setting red goes on red here and we'll see if it detects automatic or what happens here okay I'm seeing a green a green indication and a hundred percent so it just says uh, no nah, don't press the boost button don't connect them together so we're ready to start we should get our super strong start here and my starter is kind of weak, so you'll hear it. It may drag, but when I use this thing, it doesn't really drag. Yeah, so just like that, we get a good start. We'll go out and disconnect. 
you know, we got our do there. And then when you disconnect, you can see it automatically uh, shut down this video wall. All right, we're here with the power run. So this is that adapter. You just plug it in there. I got 98%. And then this one comes here to the DC. And this is super cool because it's a DC uh, 12 and 24. But you lose power running through this AC inverter. So if you're running like, you know, uh, through an inverter, it's not going to work that good. But, okay, we can see it's an unregulated uh, 12 volts. So what that means is like as the 12 volts goes down, this 11.6 is going to go 11.5, 11.4, 3.2.1 down uh this one is going down this isn't the most intuitive i forget i always forget how to use it it like locks every time there we go we'll set it so we set, you set the temperature it actually has an app and then it works with the app but uh for now we'll just see how that works it's running down the other cool thing for the mini truckers out there you could do is you know get you an ac inverter plug it into here and then you could plug in you know christmas lights like those little inflatable you know characters and right around your bed like i've done that before with the mini truck you know you have an eight foot grinch in the back and you're just like what up and this is like you can do it uh something like this if you had a dc in your car that could work too but this just gives you more flexibility you know and it, it doubles as like a jump start pack so you don't have to really what kind of waste money so i'm gonna turn this off for a little bit we'll walk away and then we'll come back and see where the voltage is at and see where the temperature is at and make sure nothing uh, bad happens here all right we'll be back all right we're cooling we got it down to 34 degrees we're still at 11.1 .1 volts 82 percent here so hopefully that helps. This is the PAL run. They sent me this for review and it seems like a pretty good one. It's kind of got the different functions, this 12 volt. So it gives you a little more flexibility. Hopefully this helps. Have a good one. Stay mini.